Hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about ASHRAE 62.2 for apartment units and the calculation is going to be on the ASHRAE 62.21 table. All right, so let's get into it. All right, uh, in the previous videos, what we had, what we're analyzing is we're trying to calculate what the outside air is. Let's put in here, calculate, we're trying to obtain, calculate, what is the outside air required for this uh, apartment unit? And when we're talking about outside air, we have two options. In this case, we're going to talk about IMC. So IMC 2015, 18, depending on the county, depending on the location, on the jurisdiction, or a standard uh, ASHRAE, see, ASH, ASHRAE 62.1. Okay, so this video is going to be about 62.1 because we already talked about IMC 2 2015 or 2018. Okay, so for ASRI 62.1, what we have is the area of this place is uh, it is uh, 530 square feet, comma, we have the height, the height is 8 feet, and the number of people, number of people is equal to 2. So for ASHRAE 62.1, the equation to calculate the outside air equals to the following. Outside air equals to the RP, okay, RP times PZ plus RA times AZ, okay? Everything divided by the distribution effectiveness EZ. And also, if we want, we're following the ASHRAE nomenclature, which is how they represent area, how they represent rates. So this is pretty much ASHRAE nomenclature. But what is OA? Actually, OA is in ASHRAE nomenclature, they call it as VOZ. And VOZ is the zone outdoor airflow. Now let's just put that in here. Just this is the zone, zone outdoor airflow. Outdoor airflow. Okay? It's just uh it, it just symbols. Okay, so they represent this outside air that I calculate all the time. They call it VOZ. And also they called this equation, they call this. Okay, what they call in ASHRAE 62.2, based on the nomenclature, they call it VBZ, which is pretty much breathing zone airflow. Let's put that in here. Breathing, yeah, breathing, breathing zone outside air, OA, airflow, airflow. So that's why at times it gets complicated because when you have a lot of variables and you have a lot of names for that, then it, I don't want these videos to become complicated. So that's why it's called the HVAC easy math. So that's why I call it, okay, instead of calling it zone outdoor airflow, and then we're going to have the breathing zone outdoor airflow divided by the distribution effectiveness, I just call it OA, outside air, done. Right? So now what we're going to do is calculate that number and then what do we have from the tables? So if we want to use tables, see, we, we, we want to use ASHRAE 62.1 or International Mechanical Code, whichever you pick. So ASHRAE 62.1, we're talking about tables, okay? So from the tables, in order to get into the table, you need the occupancy category. Occupancy, okay, category. So what is the occupancy category in this case? The occupancy, occupancy category is the following. It's at the dwelling, un, the dwelling unit. So let's put that in pink because it's important. Here, the, the dwelling category, the dwelling unit, the dwelling unit. Okay, so in other words, when you're talking about ASHRAE 62.1, you're talking about tables, and when you talk about tables, you need the occupancy category, which in this case is the welding unit. In the, in the International Mechanical Code, it says living spaces, okay? So for this, the welding unit, you're gonna have the following data. 
for the dwelling unit, the dwelling unit is going to go, let's go put this in pink. The dwelling unit is going to give you the RP. See, this is the RP, which is the uh, people rate. Why people rate? CFM per person. And this is going to be the area rate. Why area rate? Because it's CFM per square feet. So in other words, you're going to have in here the following. You have R P equals 5 CFM per person. Okay. And you have the R A, which tells you it's 0 0.6 CFM per square feet square feet okay so that comes from the tables now that we have these values from the tables in order to comply with the minimum outside air do, uh, outside airflow outside air or fresh air now we're able to calculate the the what the number is so outside air is going to be rp rp is 5 times what is pz PZ is the people, <laughs> the people is two, number of people is two, see, number of people according to International Mechanical Code and also as Ray, they indicate the first bedroom accounts for two and any additional bedroom will account for, <coughs> excuse me, one. So since there is only one bedroom, that's why the number of people is two, okay, plus uh, RA, another rate area, it's going to be 0 0.06, 0 0.06 times the area AZ. That's the area, which is 530, 530 square feet. And of course, this is going to, be, going to be divided by the distribution effectiveness that we consider 0 0.8. Uh, and also, ASRA has another table <coughs> for distribution effectiveness. Sometimes it's 1, sometimes it's 0.8, depending on the condition, all right? So let's do this math. The math of this, if we're calculating, okay, this is going to be 52.25. 52.25 equals to 53 CFM. Okay, there we go. Let's put this in a rectangle. And that's all. All right, so in other words, in order to comply for the minimum outside air requirements or fresh air ventilation rate for this unit living or the welling unit, apartment unit, you have to have at least 53 CFM. But now you may wonder why, Roberto, in the previous video, you had the same unit layout, but you obtained another number, which was like 38 CFM. So it, that depends on the jurisdiction. So every, every client, every building owner, uh, they will let you know what the county requires. They require you to use IMC 2015, 18, 2021, or they require you to use ASHRAE 62.1, 2010, 2013. So they were, they're going to give you the guidelines. Based on that, then you're going to decide how much outside air you need. Okay. So also one more thing, uh, one more point in this uh, situation. Um, if you want to speak a little bit more technical, you would say that for this dwelling unit, what do you need? For that dwelling unit, you need to satisfy an RP, which is 500, 5 CFM per person, and an RA. Another way to write an RA, which is area rate, outdoor air rate, is you require 6 CFM per 100 square feet. Because as you can see here, 6 divided by 100 equals 0 0.06. So if you're going to use the formula that you see here, it's easier to put 0 0.6. So, you, so that way you don't confuse yourself. But whenever you are speaking, you can always say, in order to comply with ASHRAE 62.1, an international, uh, uh, the Azure 62.1, you need to provide at least 5 CFM per person and 6 CFM 
every hundred square feet. Okay, that's based on array. See, but if you're think if you're talking, this is an array. But if you're talking about the IMC, you're gonna be talking about for this unit space, you need at least zero point thirty five air changes per hour, but no less than 15 CFM per person. Okay, this is based on the International Mechanical Code, and this is based on ASHRAE 62.1. 62.1 ASHRAE, there you go, ASHRAE, and the other one is going to be the IMC, International Mechanical Code. Last thing is that if you live in another country, you use the metric system. So if you're using the metric system, you can always rely on these values, number one and number two, which is liters per second, liters second, meter squared. There we go. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and please hit the like button. That helps a lot. And share and subscribe. Thank you very much.